Oh my god, I cannot believe we have gotten to this point. So I've seen blueprints in the past, but I have not seen these blueprints. The blueprints I saw today were absolutely insane. They were detailed beyond belief. Um, and I've seen about 95% of the ride. Uh, there's about only 5% of the ride that I did not see. Um, but wow, let me tell you guys, when I thought this coaster was going to be a record breaker, I thought it was going to break one record. That's all I'll say about that. This video is going to have some of the blueprints in it, but out of respect for the park, I am not going to show you elements. I'm going to show you some elements. I'm going to show you a bit of the coaster. I'm not going to show you the whole thing. That is no fair to the park. That's not fair to anyone. Um, but um, again, I will continue over time to show things moving forward just because um you know i want you guys to find out this coaster before the park announces it that's still fun but i want them to like i want to see what they're going to do with their teasing campaign i don't want to ruin it again you will see blueprints in this video it is not clickbait but you won't see the whole coaster i am not going to do that to the park out of respect for them but let's get right into it so this um this is how i saw the blueprints these guys were all over the park they're definitely getting ready for vertical construction um, and there was this weird drawing on the back of it. I don't know if it's a birthday cake or a part of the coaster or a station. I have no idea. It looked like something. But um, just to give you a little bit of a teaser here, this was definitely a BNM blueprint. It had its clearance rack on it, but there wasn't too much information in terms of, you know, some other aspects of the ride on the on these blueprints. Um, the height was not on this blueprint. I spent, I, you guys have, when did I post that I found these blueprints? I've been spending like four hours reading over these blueprints. Like I have pages and pages of blueprints and I do not know the height of the coaster. I looked everywhere, it is not there. Um, it must be covered up in one of the parts, but I can tell you, and you'll hear it throughout the video, why this coaster is a record breaker. And you can hear it in my voice. I'm so excited. So let's get it right off to the bat. Um, the end of the lift hill is confirmed. It is about 95 to 90 meters or 90 meters to 95 meters long. That means it is about, because it has a 45 degree angle, 90 to 95 meters tall. That puts it in Giga territory. And I'm gonna explain why this coaster has to be a lot taller than Val Raven from seeing these blueprints. It's absolutely insane. I cannot believe it. So what you're looking at on this blueprint that I did edit down because there's a lot of elements on that um, portion of the blueprint is that's the dive. That's the main dive. It's got the turn, there's a dive, it's a hill, and it goes into the tunnel. Um, Again, you can see that their columns are marked seven, eight. They're counting all the columns for this ride. The EL stands for columns. Um, and this is going to play an interesting part of the um, ride. As you can see, there's column 79 as well heading underneath the lift hill. That's not anywhere near the end of the ride, okay? This coaster is absolutely insane in terms of length. It is an out and back dive coaster. I was blown away when I saw it. I'm so confuzzled. I did not know a dive coaster could be out and back. This thing stretches over a very large plot of land. So this is an element that I definitely decreased in size because I don't want you to see the element that comes after it. Um, I want that to be a surprise. But this is, I'm showing this part because we all already know that this is the Imolin loop out of it. But this Imolin loop goes right into another element. And this element is on all dive coasters, but it's what comes after this element that isn't on all dive coasters. In fact, if I'm right, and I'm reading this blueprint correctly, and I, I cannot mistaken the length of this coaster by this blueprint, but I can possibly mistaken specific elements on, this, uh, on the blueprint. You can't really see where there's an airtime hill. Um, but it looks like I can see where MCBRs are, mid-course brake runs. Those are like, for any of you that don't know too much about coasters, it's kind of like a block section that allows a coaster to run multiple trains at once. This coaster may not just have one block section. Okay, you, you're you hearing it right. This coaster might have more than one mid-course brake run. What is going on? 
Like, what? So, I, the, I showed this picture because his thumb there is covering up a really cool element that I don't want you guys to see. Um, but after that element, it turns and curves and follows along Timberwolf. This thing goes really far, okay? Like, I'm shooketh. The, the, you, you see it heading over there and about to cross over the path? You see that? Yeah, well, look at the column number. Column number 44, 45, 43, 42. You wanna know what the returning column number is that's over Timberwolf Falls? Column 75, 74, 75, 76. That means there's about 30 columns in between this heading. That's Timberwolf, by the way, at the top there, that purple little turnaround. So this heading alongside Timberwolf over the path potentially near where that pond marker is, comes back column 70 something. This coaster is absolutely insane in terms of length. I did not know they could do an out and back dive coaster. There may be two mid-course brake runs as well. So what is going on? Are we looking at a Giga Dive coaster that has two mid-course brake runs? Is the second, or is the first mid-course brake run 200 feet? Is the second one 150 feet? Who knows? All I know is this dive coaster is insane. I was not expecting this. You all know I've been spitting out speculation videos left, right, and center. I did not think it was going to be this much of a record breaker. I was, oh my goodness. I don't, like, I have no words. I'm so shocked. I've been spending four hours reading over this, getting other people to read over it. This is the plot of land this coaster takes up. All those markers in Timberwolf Falls are for the coaster. What and how are they doing this? No wonder this makes sense as to the early start. No wonder they started two years in advance. No wonder we're seeing track arrive this week. No wonder we're seeing such a large construction crew. This all makes sense now. I cannot believe it. Is Wonderland finally going to get a world record coaster? The answer is most likely yes. Again, I cannot wait for the teasing campaign to start. No wonder the park officials are keeping their mouths tight-lipped and all that. There's going to be an epic teasing campaign. Um, I'm trying to think of what I can say that isn't too revealing. Um, so I went over the fact that this is probably going to be the longest dive coaster. It's probably going to have the most inversions. It's probably going to be the tallest. Again, I'm using probably. We are a rumors and speculation channel, but these blueprints are not fake. I had people with me there today that saw the blueprints as well. And by the way, the park may want to tell the construction crew to simmer down just a bit with those blueprints. They're there for everyone to see. They're in plain sight. These people are walking around holding them. Um, so, I mean, it is not my fault. <laughs> I'm trying really hard to hold some information back from everyone, but it is not my fault that this information is leaking out. It is probably, no offense to anyone, the worst kept secret in the amusement industry. I mean, information is just out there for all of us to see. Um, but yeah, this is the station and the lift hill and the turnout of the station that dips into a valley um, of some sort. Um, and you can see that the final footer, well, you can't see it in this clip because I edited it out, um, is around um, 80 something. So, uh, sorry, it's 91. The last footer on this coaster is 91. 91, not footers, sorry, 91 columns. That's almost double to Valraven, by the way, for those of you that didn't know. Almost double to that of Valraven. This is insane, okay? Again, there is going to be a POV video released from Planet Coaster today. It is being worked on right now, and Eastern Thrills is spending a lot of time on that, so look forward to that. We are releasing a POV recreation. Um, give this video a like, guys, please. I put a lot of work into this. I know I deserve a like. Share this video. Please share this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Head on over to Patreon and become a patron um, to support us. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Again, give it a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. Bye, guys. Have a good one.